again for joining us. Um, it's yoga with optional weights today. I'm going to start my timer here. There we go. So we're starting in child's pose. Child's pose is a good way to um, basically stretch your lower back, your upper back, reaching your hands towards the top of your mat. There we go. And if you're anything like me, my mind usually is busy this early in the morning, emails to check, conference calls later. All of that can wait while we take care of yourself first. You're only here for 60 minutes. That's really about four to five percent of your day, or or five percent of your day. And then here we start your ujjayi breath, inhaling through your nose, exhaling through your nose. I like to count to four as I inhale, and then pausing to reset that sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous system, and then exhale to four. So we're talking good quality breath here. Deep inhale. Thanks for joining us, Lisa. And exhale. A few more rounds of breath here. So every morning we get a chance to be different, a chance to change, the chance to be better. Our past is our past and leave it there. We're always one decision away from a totally different life. Rising to all fours to a neutral tabletop position. So your hands are going to be directly under your shoulders, knees directly under your hips. And when we're talking about hip bone distance, a uh, little guidance there, you can make a fist with both hands, tuck it in between your knees. That's how wide your hip bones are. So again, hands under your wrist. And then we're moving on to some cat and cow poses here. Tops of your feet can be on your mat or you can curl your toes, totally up to you. So inhale brings you to a cow pose. Exhale, round your back to a cat pose. Think about Halloween cats, so pressing upper back towards the ceiling. Inhale to cow. Exhale, round your back to cat. Adding any movement you feel you need today. I always like to say in my practice or when I teach that yoga is a listening practice. You don't necessarily have to see what we're doing or what others are doing, but listen to the cues. These are just suggestions. And then listen to your body. So if you need to modify, if you feel like you're feisty today and you want to amp it up a little bit, go for it. So thanks for being so brave, joining us with yoga weights. That's the first step, obviously. Some like to look past the right shoulder, looking at the right ankle, and some making sure you're switching sides, coming back to your cat and cow pose, and exhale to your cow, no cat pose here. Nice, and we're back to your neutral tabletop position. Nice. So we're going to thread the needle next, starting with your right hand. Inhale, right hand high. Look at your right thumb here. And then thread the needle, tucking your right arm under, right temple, right cheek should be on your mat. Start to sink your hips down towards your heels. If you want to amp it up a little bit more, you can lift your left hand, top of your left hand can set on your lower back, and maybe reach for the inner right thigh. So we'll do a few rounds of breath here, deep inhale, and exhale. One more round of breath, and exhale. If you've added the bind, lower left hand down, just under left shoulder. Inhale, right hand high. Look at your right thumb, and come back to your neutral tabletop position. Switching sides, inhale, left hand high. Looking at left thumb here, and then thread the needle on this side. So your left shoulder, left cheek, left temple is now on your mat. Add the bind if you want to. Right hand, top of my right hand this time, is on my lower back. If you want to deepen the pulse, reach for the inner left thigh. We go and then sink your hips down. Go, to, go through two full rounds of breath here. 
deep inhale. And exhale. One more full round of breath. And exhale. You've added the bind. Release the bind. Inhale, left hand high. Come back to your neutral tabletop position. One full round of cat and cow pose here. Inhale to cow. Exhale, exaggerate this pose, pressing over back towards the ceiling, third cat pose, and then come back to your neutral tabletop position. Okay. So think about a dog peeing on a fire hydrant. Most of us have dogs here. Um, and then I know that there's friends that are going to be joining us with little kids. So I think that'll be fun for them. So we're thinking about um, dog peeing on a fire hydrant, right? So I'm just going to show you at an angle here. So starting with your left knee, so lift your left leg about 90 degrees here, and then aim towards your right shoulder. So bring your right knee towards your right shoulder, so higher than your, your, your elbow, and then come back. Start to bring knee again to the right shoulder, and then come back. Nice. Knee to right shoulder, and then come back one more time. Knee to right shoulder, and then come back. Come back to your neutral tabletop, switching sides. Nice. So lift your left leg, dog again, peeing on the fire hydrant, left knee to left shoulder, and extend. Left knee, left shoulder, extend. Two more times. That's one, and two. And then come back to your neutral tabletop. One more full round of cat cow pose here. Inhale to cow, exhale to cat. We have some uh, spinal balance here next. So starting with your right hand, so it's bird dog, right? Inhale, right arm forward. Your right thumb is facing the ceiling here. Look right bicep next to your ear. Exhale, left leg back. So if you dip your forehead down, I want your left heel about hip height, so you should be able to see toes. So drop your forehead down to see your toes, and then come back to your neutral spine. Spine will be long. And then extending your, bend your fingers wide. There you go. Deep inhale here. As you exhale, bring your knee and elbow to touch. There you go. Inhale, extend. Exhale, touch. Inhale, extend. Exhale, touch. And hold here. Nice. Inhale, extend. And awkward airplane next. So right arm to your right side. Right palm faces down. Kick that left leg to the left side. Left toes facing your forehead. So try to bring your left leg about hip height here. Nice. Bend your left fingers wide and your right. There you go. Come back to your bird dog. So right arm forward, left leg back, and come back to hands and knees, moving on to the other side. Left hand, inhale, extends. Left thumb faces ceiling, right leg, it's back. Drop your forehead. Check in with the right toes. Left, or your right heel should be about hip height. Now extend your crown of your head towards the front of the room. Here you go. Take a deep inhale here. Exhale, bring knee and elbow to touch. Inhale, extend. Exhale, touch. So you're looking down next to your right thumb. Inhale, extend. Exhale, touch. Inhale, extend. Exhale, touch and hold. Clenching up your, your abs here. Inhale, extend. Upward airplane max. So left leg or left arm to your left side. Right leg kicking towards the right side. Point your toes towards your forehead. One full round of breath here. Inhale and exhale. Come back to your bird dog. Left arm forward. Right leg back and back to your tabletop position. Next, nice. we're gonna uh, hover your knees this time. So hovering tabletop is next. Rolling your toes. And then start to lift your knees about an inch or so off the mat. From here, I want you to feel like your wrists are being pulled down towards your toes, toes towards your wrists, crunching your abs as you do so, like an upside down crunch. Two full rounds of breath here. Deep inhale. Stay with the exhale. One more full round of breath. And exhale. Walk your hands towards the top of your mat. So you're coming to a high plank. Checking in with your heels, so heels over your toes, lower your butt down, from up the belly. Nice, start to lift your hips up and back, downward facing dog. 
Okay, so pedal your feet, walk your dog. I like to bend my knees generously, pointing both knees towards the outside edges of my mat. So do any ritual you feel is needed today. So bending one knee generously as you press opposite heel towards your mat. Switching sides. Your ears are next to your biceps and your spine is long. There you go. Press your chest down towards your thighs. Lift your tailbone high towards the ceiling. At the same time, press your heels down. Two full rounds of breath here. Deep inhale. As you exhale, pretend you're pressing chest down towards your thighs. Exhale. One more full round of breath. Deep inhale. And exhale. Your next inhale, come up to your tiptoes. Look in between your hands. Walk or hop towards the top of your mat. Red doll is next. There you go. So red doll. Feet are about hip bone distance again. You can make a fist with both hands. Tuck it in between your feet. There you go. And that's how wide your hip bones are. Shift your weight towards your toes. You should feel like you're about to flip forward. Front of the head pointing straight down. Bend your knees a lot so your lower, your belly is touching your thighs. There you go. The purpose of this pose is to stretch your upper back. Okay, so let your head, front of the head, be heavy. Again, swing your hips side to side. Shake your head, yes or no. You can even grab elbows with opposite hands. You may even grab your arms behind your legs. Or even come to a line, interlacing hands, setting it in towards your lower back. And then maybe pressing the knife edge of your hand towards the front of your mat. There you go. Front of the head is heavy. Wag your tail side to side once more. Shaking head, yes and no. And from here, drop your, your fingertips down towards your mat. Heel turn your feet together. And then think about stacking one vertebrae at a time, starting with your knees first. Straighten your knees, straighten your legs. And then stack one vertebrae at a time. Keep your arms to your side, palms facing down. Her arms are down, palms facing the front. There you go. Back up in more. There you go. So from here, I want you to roll your shoulder blades up, back, and down. Feel like your fingertips are being pulled down towards your mat. Nice. One more time. Roll your shoulder blades up, back, and down. Lift your, your toes so all four corners of your feet are grounded. Lift above your kneecaps so your quads and your glutes are engaged. Now lock your body in. Swing your arms out to the side and up for your mountain pose. Pretend you have a giant beach ball between your hands. So if you have a giant beach ball between your hands, your fingers are, are fan wide. There you go. Nice, take a deep inhale here. Exhale. Nice, deep inhale. And exhale. One more, full round of breath, deep inhale. And exhale, bring your hands toward heart center. Close your eyes here for a moment and then set an intention for your practice. So for my intention today, I set my intention for my body to move more, to love it more, and to criticize it less. Any intention could be anything. It could be someone who might need help today. And for all of those essential workers that are out there risking their lives, before well, we get to stay home. Simply open your eyes, scan your arms up, Towards the ceiling for your mountain pose. Exhale, forward fold. So sink your hips back. Feel the stretch in your hamstring here. Come to a halfway lift. Plant your palms on your mat. Step back for a high plank. Hold here for one full round of breath. So while you're holding, I want you to pretend your corks from your elbows towards the midline. Firm up the belly here. Bend the elbows now to 90 degrees. Lowering chest all the way down towards your mat. There you go. Once you're down, Tops of your feet are on your mat. You notice that your knees are lifted. Engage your quads and your glutes here. And then walk your hands through. Your fingertips are behind your nipple line. Squeeze your elbows together and look down, please. Setting up for a gentle cobra. When you inhale, lift the chest off the mat. Go through one full round of breath here. Squeezing your shoulder blades together, wrapping around your spine. You're looking down. Stay for the exhale. One inhale. Exhale, lower. 
Keep pressing tops of your feet on your mat. Engage your quads and glutes. Inhale, lift. Three gentle cobra. Options here, lifting hands and feet off your mat. Your toes can point down towards your mat or towards the back of the room. Going through one full round of breath once more. Stay for the exhale. One inhale. Exhale, lower. One more time. Yogi's choice. Inhale, lift for a gentle cobra, or you can hover hands and feet off the mat. You're still looking down, so the crown of the head and your spine should be tall. Stay for the exhale. One more inhale. And exhale, lower. Hands now under shoulders. Curl your toes under. You're rising up as one unit, so flatten your firm up your belt, your body here. Rise up to a high plank. Come up to your tiptoes, shifting shoulders past your fingertips, an inch or so. Bend the elbows to 90 degrees, setting up for upward facing dog. Top to your feet now on your mat. Rise up to your upward facing dog and hang here for three full rounds of breath. So just try to work on your, your so upward facing dog. Roll your shoulder blades up, back, and down. So no turtleneck, right? So stand really tall. You're here for three full rounds of breath. Maybe one more here. Stay for the exhale. Thanks. And then curl your toes. So move on to your downward facing dog. Good job. So we'll flow through this. You get to choose for your back bend. Could be a, a gentle cobra or an upward facing dog. Come up to your tiptoes as you inhale. Look in between your hands. Walk or hop towards the top of your mat. Come to a halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Rise up to mountain. Swing your arms out and up. Mountain pose, giant beach ball. Still there. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift. Plant your palms on your mat. Step back. High plank. Lower chaturanga or to the floor. Upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Thanks. Let's go through this flow two more times, matching breath and movement. Come up to tiptoes. Look in between your hands. Walk or hop. Top of your mat. Half lift. Flat back. Exhale. Forward fold. Rise to mountain. So ground all four corners of your feet through your knees. So lift above your kneecaps. Quads and glutes are engaged. Exhale. Forward fold. Half lift. Flat back. Palms on your mat. Step back. High plank. Lower chaturanga or to the floor. Upward facing dog. Or cobra, exhale, downward facing dog. Give you one more. Come up to tiptoes. Look in between hands. Walk or hop, top of your mat. Half lift, exhale, forward fold. Rise up to mountain. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Palms on your mat, step back. High plank. Lower chaturanga. Up to the floor. Upward facing dog or gentle cobra. Meaning a downward facing dog. Nice. You can drop down to your knees. You can take a sip of water. Child's pose is always an option. Think about child's pose as home base, right? So you can come to this pose anytime you need to. Just checking the time here. Good job, everybody. Nice. All right. So downward facing dog when you're ready. All right, so while you're working on downward facing dog, I like to come to a high plank first. So the way I was trained, my heels, so you're coming to a high plank first, right? And then this is how far back your feet should should be. But again, these are just suggestions. Ears again next to your biceps. So you're looking way beyond your ankles here. Pressing chest down towards your thighs. Thanks. Inhale, right leg high. Open up this hip first. So stack your right hip over your left. You can twirl your ankle left and right, so clockwise and counterclockwise, pressing evenly on your hands. I want your hands to fan out. There you go, pressing into the thumbs and the pinkies, coming back to your three-legged dog. Bring your right knee to right elbow. So shift your shoulders over wrist. Inhale, right leg high. Right knee to left elbow. Inhale, right leg high. Right knee to nose, hike up your knee towards your chest, and then set your right foot behind right wrist, setting up for low lunge. Back knee drops, top of your feet, top of back foot drops, or top of your feet on your mat here, nice. And setting up to 90 degrees in the front knee. There you go, nice. Come up to your low lunge here. Inhale, hands towards the ceiling. Curl your back toes, and then rise up to your high crescent. Nice, keep that 90 degree in the front knee. 
Yeah, take a deep inhale here. Exhale to warrior one pose. So back foot is now at 45 degrees. You're squaring your hips and your shoulders. You got it. Nice. Keep bending that front knee to high degrees. Take a deep inhale here. Exhale, interlace your hands behind you. There you go. Setting up for humble warrior, also called devotional warrior. But roll your shoulder blades up, back, and down. And then try to press your fingertip, maybe your pointing finger, twist the back. And then start to hinge forward, bringing the right shoulder towards the inner right thigh, dropping the crown of the head straight down. Nice. So this devotional warrior is for you. So again, thank you for showing up in your mats today. I think that's one of the hardest part, right? First of all, getting up this early in the morning to practice with us. Nice. Second of all, I'd like again to devote this pose to all those essential workers and also to empower you just making this happen. Nice. And then slightly come up to your warrior one pose. Inhale, hands down towards your mat. Inhale to your three-legged dog here. And then lower your right foot down. Left leg, inhale, left leg high. Let's open up here, stacking left hip over your right, pressing evenly on your hands, twirling ankle left and right. There you go. Come back to your three-legged dog. Now bring your left knee to left elbow. Inhale, left leg high. Left knee, right elbow. Inhale, left leg high. Knee to nose, so hike a bit knee towards your chest, and then step your left foot behind that wrist. So you get a wider stance here, more like hip bone distance, right, on your feet. Drop your back knee, top of the back foot is down on your mat. Come up to your low lunge first. Nice, giant beach ball, still there. Bend your fingers wide, curl your back toes under without moving your hips, straighten that back leg. Take a deep inhale here, and stay for the exhale. One more inhale, and exhale to your warrior one pose. So square your hips. Back foot at 45 degrees, you got it. Reaching fingertips high towards the ceiling. And then as you exhale, interlace hands behind you. Peel your shoulder blades up, back and down, pointing your pointer fingers towards the back foot. And then humble warrior, devotional warrior on this side. So left shoulder towards inner left thigh. Drop that crown of the head straight down. And your feet should feel like you're trying to suction it towards the middle of the mat. Nice. One more, full round of breath here. Deep inhale. And exhale. Slowly rise up to your warrior one pose. And lower both hands down. Inhale to your three-legged dog. If you want more core here, lift that left foot so you're not swiping your foot into your mat. And then lower left foot down. Come up to your tiptoes here. Look in between your hands. Walk or hop towards the top of your mat. Half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Rise to mountain, draw all four corners of your feet into your mat, and then bring your hands forward for center to chair pose. There you go. Nice, so oftentimes we stick our butt out for your chair pose. I want you to push your lower rib in, tuck that tailbone down. I want you to feel like you're drawing your lower chest and your pelvic bone towards one another. So kind of like you're doing a crunch. Now if you're in a higher chair, you're working more on your, your quads, you know your butt muscles are the biggest muscle right in our body. So sink down lower, use it. Bend to 90, yes, you got it. Nice job, learners. Nice. Now from here, I want you to think about your face right now. If we were to freeze your face, this is the face that you want. So where can you soften? Soften your, your eyebrows, soften your jaw, space in between your teeth, and then maybe smile. There you go. Nice, take a deep inhale here. Exhale, forward fold. My husband is just laughing at me. Good job. So I'm about to stand. Nice. Hands toward our center. Let's try that again. Chair pose. Now we've been here before. Push that lower rib in. Tuck that tailbone down. Imagine you're doing a crunch once again. Bringing your chest and your hips towards one another. Sink down lower. Get to your glute muscles here. Power chair is an option. So bring your arms forward. Palms facing the ceiling. Your pinkies are in. Your ears are next to your biceps. Breathe through this pose. Again, where can you soften? Right now you're in this pose holding this, right? So we're getting to that uncomfortable state, which is where the pose begins to change. 
There you go. One more. Full round of breath. Stay for the exhale. One more inhale. Exhale for a fold. Rise up to mom once again. We have a drinking bird next. So bring your arms to your side. Come to the top of your mat. Come to your tiptoes. And then sink down to chair pose. So drinking bird is next. So palms are facing the front. Your pinkies are in towards the midline. And okay, take a deep inhale here. And stay for the exhale. Shifting your weight towards your left foot. Take a long step back with your right foot. There you go. And then come up to your high crescent lunge here. Thanks. And exhale. One more inhale. And exhale. So we're going to add with weights here in a little bit. But this is what it's going to look like. So you're going to come up. You're at a high crescent lunge. And we'll add a twist with the weight later. So take a deep inhale here. And then exhale. Twist towards your right. Take an inhale here. Exhale, twist, twist towards your left. Inhale, come up to your high crescent. Lower hands down towards your mat. Inhale, two, three, like a dog. And lower left foot down. Come up to tiptoes here. Look in between hands. Walk or hop towards the top of your mat. And then rise up to mom pose. Nice. Bring your arms to your side here, drinking bird once again. Come up to tiptoes. And then sink down to your drinking bird. Palms again. Facing the front, scoop the belly in, shifting weight now towards your right foot. Take a long step back. Nice. Come up to your high crescent. Take a deep inhale here. Exhale, twist towards your left to start. Deep inhale here. Come up to center. Twist towards your right. Inhale, come up to center. Hands down towards your mat. Inhale to your three-legged dog. Lift that right foot off the mat. And then lower right foot down. Come up to tiptoes. Look in between your hands. Walk or hop to the top of your mat, grabbing your weights if you have them. Nice. So start with, uh, you can actually go a little lighter to start. Uh, some might not have any options, right? But you choose whatever you just use whatever you have. Nice. Sink down. So separate your feet about hip form distance. So targeting your quads to start. Nice. So scoop your lower rib in, squat down. Good job. Take a deep inhale here. And exhale. Shifting weight now towards your left foot. Hover your right foot. Take a long step back. Nice. And then come up to your high crescent. Nice. Deep inhale here. Twist towards your right. Inhale. Come up to center. Twist towards your left. So twist comes from belly up. Inhale. Come up to center. Lower both hands down. You're coming to a high plank. We're adding some plank rows. So if you can hold on to your weight to come to a high plank, you're going to row, starting with your right, and then down, and left, back down. Inhale, lift, and down. Run with the belly, lift, and down. One more each side. Lift, down, left side, and down, and then downward facing dog. John, come up to your tiptoes, please. Walk. Your hand and walk your feet towards the top of your mat. Grab your weights with you and then come to chair pose, separating feet again about hip bone distance. Nice. Come from here. I want you to shift your weight towards the right foot. Take a long step back. You got it. Come to a high press and lunge. Take a deep inhale here. Twist towards your left to start. Inhale, come back to high press and twist towards your right. Come to high press and Lower both hands down. Inhale. Right leg lifts. And then lower both feet down. Come to a high plank here. Plank rolls on this side. Starting with left hand. So try not to move your hips. So isolating your hips here. Working on your core. One more on each side. Lift and exhale. Lift and exhale. Downward facing dog. Nice. Okay, come up to your tiptoes here. Look in between your hands. Walk or hop towards the top of your mat. Bring your weights with you. Chair pose once again. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Rise up to mountain with your weights. Good job. Separating your feet, mat width distance. So I'm going to face you guys, right? So heels are in, toes are out. We're working still mostly your quads. We'll get to your glutes up, uh, later. So you're going to basically bring the head of the weight overhead 
and then palms facing the front, and then tap your head of the weight at the bottom. So inhale, straighten your legs, squat down lower. Nice. For this pose to work, try not to hinge forward so much. Pretend you have a wall behind you, and keep your shoulder blades close to that wall. So not so much like this, but shoulders over your hips. Come up to center, and tap at the bottom. Come to the top, and then sink down lower. Nice. Keep driving your knees out. Remember your glute muscles are bigger. So sink down lower and use them. Two more times. One and two. Last one right here. And the bottom. And then from here, bring your hands toward our center. Nice. Come up to your tiptoes, please. Now I want you to pulse down. Pretend. You're coming up to tiptoes. Nine. Try not to inch forward so much. Keep your shoulders over your hips. Fight to get there. Five, four, three, two, one. Release your heels down and then come up to stand. Nice. Come to the top of your mat, take a sip of water. It's more like I need it. Ooh. How are you guys doing? Just give me a thumbs up if uh, you can hear me. Thanks, John. Thanks, guys. All right. So we're moving on to some uh, standing series here. Good job. So still bearing, you can go a little heavier here for your weights, right? Come to the top of your mat. Nice. Shifting weight again. So feet, but about hip bone distance. Start to lift your right leg up and overhead. Take a long step back, but not overhead. Hop toward the front and then come to your high crescent lunge. Bring your arms up and overhead here. There you go. Sink down to 90 degrees on the front knee. Remember your Safer when your knee is over your ankle or behind, not over your toes. There you go. We're adding some tricep overhead extension here. So point your elbows towards me like headlights. Option here is to bring, so the tricep overhead extension, or you can add your legs. There you go. So one, so 10 is our number today. Two, three. So if you're wobbly, widen your stance. Nice. Keep your elbows pointing towards the front like headlights. You got it. And five more. Four. Three. Two. And one. <laughs> nice. Bring your hands toward her center. High breeze. Keeping upper arms parallel to the ground. Still working on triceps. Kick back. One. Two. Three, so you're looking down about a foot above front toes. Four, five, five more, five. So if you have no weights, so if your weights are too heavy, you can release them and just make a fist with your hands. Nice, once you're done with your 10, hold here, palms facing the, the ceiling. Lift another inch maybe. You can hold here or pulse for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. Bring your hands to our heart center. Lower both hands down. Bring your hands to the mat. Inhale to your three legged like dog. And lower both feet down. Come up to your tiptoes here. Look in between your hands. Walk or hop to the top of your mat. Grab your weights, please. And then come up to your mountain pose here. Nice. Separating feet again, hip bone distance. Good job. Start to bring your left knee forward, then take a long step back to your high crescent lunge. Take a deep inhale here. Again, option is to add your, uh, your knee bends right here. So tricep overhead extension, elbows towards the front. Give me some of these. 10, 9, 8, 7, front knee over ankle, 5 more. Four, three, two, and one. And then sink down to 90 degrees in the front knee. Hinge about 45 degrees, long spine here. Tricep kick back. So bring your upper arm parallel to the ground, palms facing each other. Kick back for 10, nine. You gotta breathe. Seven, six, looking one foot above front toes. Five, Four, three, 
two, and one. Hold at the top here. Can you lift another inch? Pulse for 10. Palms facing ceiling. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come up to your high crescent. Lower both hands down. Release the weights. Inhale, two, here, three, let it dog. And lower both feet down. Drop down to um, child's pulse if you need to. Good job, everybody. Take a sip of water. I'm gonna turn my, my fair place off. It's my idea of a uh, hot yoga. All right. Nice. Coming to tabletop, to high plank. Downward facing dog. Right leg lifts as you inhale. And then this time, setting up warrior two pose. There you go. So while you're down, grab your weights. Back foot now spins to 90 degrees. Your heels traditionally are in one imaginary line in between your mat. There you go. So grabbing your weight. So come to warrior two here. So bend your elbows, however. Nice. Slight bend at the elbows. Nice. Flying warriors next. So just straighten your front leg. Palms face each other. Weights can touch. Then come back. Or so flying warrior. Two more times. One more time. Right here. Good job. Warrior two. We have side angle pose next. So right elbow to right thigh. Good job. Now we're adding some bicep curl here. Your weight can stack. Right? Left hand can stay at 12 o'clock here. And then give me bicep curls. 10. Nice. So firm up the belly. So try not to rock your body here. So core is involved as you work on your biceps. Five more. Four. Three. Two. And one. If you separated your weights, go ahead and bring both weights on, both, on, on each hand here. Come back to your warrior two. Reverse your warrior. Flipping front palm. Then swing. Swing your right hand up and overhead. You may look up or down. Keep the bend in the front knee. Come back to your warrior two. And five point as the star is next. So heels are in, toes are out. Bring your weights toward her center. We're gonna hinge forward. Stop about midway here. And we're gonna add some reverse flies. So flatten your back. Reach the front of the head towards the camera. You got it. Nice. Okay, so flatten back, please. Nice. Now try to resist the weight. So pretend you're lifting through the knuckles. So you got it. Try not to swing or pop that weight. If you're popping the weight, you're kind of cheating yourself with good workout. So resist this as if you are doing this through muddy water or thick air. You got it. So squeezing your shoulder blades together. Nice. So I think we lost count, but that's okay. Give me five more. Five. Four. Breathe, three, two, and one. Bring your hands toward heart center. Start to bend your knees, heels still in, toes are out, and then imaginary wall behind you. There you go. So we're working on outer glutes this time. Work more on quads earlier. Nice, from here. I want you to work on your obliques. So arms to your side, palms facing ceiling. Drop your weight down towards your right ankle, and then center, left ankle. Center, got this. Center, left, and center. Breathe, exhale, inhale, exhale. Two more times on each side. Pinching the side, or low, low handles, right? And last one right here. Bring your hands toward her center, and then come up to your five-pointed star, to your warrior two pose. Nice. And then cartwheel hands towards your mat. Release the weights. Inhale to your three legged dog. And then you can go through your flow or just meet us at downward facing dog. Nice. Upward facing dog or down to downward facing dog. Nice. Take a deep inhale here. Safely exhale. Left leg lifts. Nice. And then step your left foot. Setting up warrior two pulse. I'm gonna face you guys. Really. 
My back foot is now at 90 degrees. Nice. Slight bend at the elbows, please. Nice. For your two pose, it's an open hip pose. So feel like your back leg, your back thigh is being pulled towards the back. You got it. Nice. Take a deep inhale here. Exhale, side angle pose. So your right hand now at 12 o'clock, left elbow, left thigh, bending that front knee to 90 degrees. Adding bicep curl, you can stack both weights. Nice. And then you get 10 of these. 10. Isolating upper body, so no rocking of your upper body. Breathe. Seven. Six. Five. Firm up the belly. Four. Three. Two. And one, if you added both weights in one hand, separate them. Come back to warrior two. Reverse your warrior, flipping front palm, sweeping that left arm up and overhead. Look up or down. Keep that bend in the front knee. Come back to your warrior two pose to five point and start. Heels in, toes out. Right, bring your hands toward heart center. Nice. Now align your back towards an imaginary wall and then bend your knees. To 90 degrees. So driving your knees out towards the pinky toes. Take a deep inhale here. Nice. Working on top shoulder this time. So you're going to bring your arms to your side and then rotate. Add a pack deck. One and two. Back to side and down. There you go. Stay lower. Sink down. Sink your butt down. You got it. Two pack decks and then side and down. Side rotate, nice. Pack deck two times, bringing elbow shoulder height, isolating upper body. One more time, you got this. Side rotate, pack deck two times. So the idea of this to, is to draw your mind away from the squat pose. Nice. Come to a high point and start. Bring your hands again toward heart center. Hinge forward, stopping midway here. We have. Reverse flies. Again, flatten your back, please. Shift your weight towards your heels. And then start to give me 10 reverse flies. So pretend you're wrapping your, your shoulder blades around your spine here. Remember to resist the weight. Firm up the belly here. Flat back. Nice. Let me have seven more. Eight. Or six. Five. Four. So wrist should be about shoulder height. Two and one. Bring hands toward heart center. Bend your knees. Come to your five-pointed star. Exhale, warrior two. You got it. And then cartwheel hands towards your mat. Inhale to three-legged dog. And then lower. Chaturanga over to the floor. Meeting a downward facing dog. Nice. Ooh, drop down to your knees, please. Sip of water again if you need it. Fall off if you need it. Just checking time. Good job. Time flies. Holy cow, you guys. It's almost 45 minutes into that. So from downward facing dog or child's pose, you're going to come to the top of your mat. There you go. And then separating feet about uh, mat with distance, coming to yogi squat. So separating feet wide as your mat, coming to yogi squat to open up your hips here. I like to use my elbow to pop my, my hips open, my legs open, and then try to stack your shoulders over your hips. Nice. For my advanced yogis, if you know how to get there, you can come to pro pose, or maybe even a tripod headstand if you know how to get there. Good job. Let me see you guys. All right, so remember, yoga is not about what you can do. It's not about touching your toes. It's about that journey that you take on the way to touching your toes. So I'm opening up my hips here. Nice. And even if you want to, just play around, maybe shifting your, bending your fingers wide and maybe just shifting your weight towards your wrist and just test it out a little bit. You don't have to lift your foot off the mat. There you go. And then come back to your yoga squat here. Nice. And then start to press your heels into the mat. Come to a five point and start here. You got it. Nice. And then bring your feet towards the top of your mat. We're setting up for a warrior three legs with some deadlifts. So while you're here, um, so just eyes towards the camera if you can. So we're going to come to a standing one-legged mountain pose to a warrior three legs. 
and then coming back up. So this would be our balancing post here. Good? So, nice. So core is involved. Nice. Top of your mat, separating feet, hip bone distance. Come to a one-legged mountain pose toward your three legs and a deadlift. Got it. So press all four corners of that standing foot into the mat to your deadlift. Coming to one-legged mountain pose toward your three legs. Nice. Palms facing your leg. Nice. You got it. So it would help if your yoga teacher is focused, right? There you go. Coming to your one to three legs. Give me two more. Get one more. And lower. Both feet down. Other side. You got it. Separating feet again, hip bone distance. Come to your one legged mount pose. Bring your arms and weights up overhead toward your three legs and a deadlift. That's one. And two. Only good eight. The other side. Three. Five more. You got this. Breathe. Three more. Breathe. Last one. Nice. And lower both feet down. Good job. Shake up your legs here. You got this. Thanks. So from here, we're going to come to our spine and core series here. So come up and bring your arms. So one pose here. Come up to your tiptoes. Good job. Bring your hands toward the front center. You're on your tiptoes, point your knees forward, sink down to your chair. Good job. Now drinking bird next, palms to your side, arms to your side, palms facing ceiling. You're gonna keep lowering. You got this. And then you're gonna come and bring your butt all the way down towards your mat to your bow pose. Good job. All right, if you can grab your weight or if it's too far from you, set your feet down first, grab your weights. So we're going to have both posts with some rows, right? So option here, bring feet down onto your mat. Otherwise, lift it. But chest is lifted and try not to round your back. So chest lifted here, arms to use here to the front. You got it. Option here, lifting feet off the mat. And you're going to basically row and extend. Row and extend. Row and extend. You got this. So weight or no weight, and extend. I have five more. Five, four, three, two, one, and hold. You got this, nice. You can bring your arms toward her center here. You can point your toes towards your forehead or away from you. You can bend your knees. You got this. One more full round of breath. One inhale. And exhale lower. Nice. So we have hip bridge and some hip dip next. So option here is to bring your weight towards the, the crease of your leg or in your hip bones here. Nice. Your knees are feet, feet about hip bone distance. Your feet should be hip bone distance. And then when you're ready, come up to your bridge pose here and squeeze your glutes. Come up to your tiptoes. Notice that your hips are higher. Keep the height of your hips but lower ankles down, lower your feet down. Keep squeezing here, and then hip dip. So lower, so your butt is hovering about an inch or so off the mat, and then lift, squeeze. Lower, and lift. Lower, and lift, seven more. That's seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two, one, and stay. Bring your arms up and overhead like zombie hands. You got it. And we have some chest um, flies. So when you're ready, you're going to open up to a T. Bring your arms to T, weight or no weight. Keep your hip close to the ceiling. When you're ready, bring your arms together, palms face each other, and open. Inhale to close. Exhale. And now keep squeezing your glutes. Lift your hips towards the ceiling. Nice work. Six more. Six. Five. 
Looking straight up towards the ceiling. Four, three, two, and one. Lower your weights down. Nice. Draw your knees, so lower your hips down towards your mat, and then draw your knees towards your chest, and pose is nice. So knees towards, or your forehead towards your knees, and then you may wrap your arms around your legs. You can roll your body side to side, maybe the length of your spine. Just gonna check in on the time. Got it, so we have about nine or so more minutes left. All right. We're gonna open up your hips next. So we have a supine uh, pigeon pose. So starting with your right leg, make a figure four with your right leg. Gently push your right knee away from you. And then breathe. And so bang up your hips here. And then when you're ready, right arm goes through that window, capturing your left shin, maybe your left hamstring but flatten your shoulder blades, maybe rolling your shoulder blades up, back and down so your ears are down and away from, your shoulders are down and away from your ears. As you inhale, draw your legs closer to chest, you should feel this in your right glute, and then slowly exhale. Challenging yourself each time you take a deep breath, drawing your legs closer to chest, I want you to feel that discomfort on your right glute. Remember to soften your forehead, relax your jaw. There should still be space in between your teeth. Flatten your shoulder blades into your mat. Can you find more space? Draw your legs close to the chest yet. And breathe. Now, if you want to take this a different way, you can also come to um, all fours, maybe, and come to a recline or a half pigeon pose. By the way, it's the same deal. This is just done on your back. Okay. So you keep the figure four. Drop your left foot down. Arms to go pose. Keep your shoulder blades flat on the mat, and then drop your right foot and your right your left knee onto your mat. You're looking right. So shift your legs towards your left, and then look right. Shoulder blades are still flat on the mat. There you go. And then breathe through this pose. Bring your legs to center, keep that figure four. Drop your legs now to your right, and then look left. See if you can drop your left knee towards it, so it's touching the mat or the floor to deepen the pose. And breathe. Coming back to center, release your figure four, switching sides. So figure four on your left foot, left leg here. Gently push your left knee away from you. Pull around the breath here. And exhale. Left arm goes through that window, capturing right shin, right hamstring. And then flatten your shoulder blades down towards your mat. Shoulders go down and away from ears. And every inhale, draw your legs close to chest to feel that stretch in your left glute. And exhale. Deepen the pose as you inhale. Find a fine line between discomfort and pain. And then breathe through this pose. Soften your jaw and your forehead. Work with your breath. And exhale. Deepen the pose yet, drawing legs closer to chest. And exhale. 
keeping at figure four, right foot drops, arms to goal pose. Drop your legs now to your right, look left to start. Breathe with this pose. Shoulder blades are flat. One more full on the breath. And exhale. Back to center, stay with that figure four. Dropping the legs now to left, look right. And then try to make your right knee touch the mat or the floor. Deepen the pose. One more full on the breath here. And exhale. Come to center, release that left leg. And then draw your knees to chest, another egg pose here. If this is your first or second hug of the day, make it a good one, wrapping arms along your legs. I read somewhere that on average we need about 12 hugs a day. And then each hug for it to be more, to be therapeutic, it needs to be at least like seconds long. That could be awkward to some, right? After about three seconds, you're like, um, you can let go now. All right, we have happy baby nuts. So draw your knees to armpits, capturing the inner arch of your feet, maybe the knife edge of your feet, and then press down on your feet as you try to press your hands, um, your feet against your hands. Pressing it lower back into your mat, rocking your body side to side to give yourself that lower back massage. Well deserved, all that work that you did today. And if you want more of a hamstring stretch, you can extend one leg straight while you bend the other generously. And switching sides. Coming back to your egg pose here. And then I want you to press your lower back into your mat, lifting your upper back off the mat, trying to press your forehead towards your knees, and then start to lower your back down, and then extend one leg straight, and then the other. Capturing space in your mat, arms to your sides. I like to have my palms facing the ceiling. If you notice that your lower back is arched, I want you to draw your knees towards your chest a little here, pressing that lower back into your mat, and then try to reset. Extend the one leg straight once more, and then the other, and then melt into your mat. Close your eyes. Come back to your normal breath. Feel the ground support you. Deepen your breath. Slowly exhale. Wiggle your toes. Wiggle your fingers. So 
to move your arms and legs. Sweep your arms up and overhead, full body stretch here. Point your toes away from you. Arch your lower back. Nice deep inhale here. Fill up. Slowly exhale. One more time. Deep inhale. And slowly exhale. Bend your knees. Bring your knees to chest. And then roll right. Use your right bicep as your pillow. Friday next week.